How are we today, people? Hey? Oh, got some back chat. That's what it is. How are we today, people? Do I sound different? Just testing out my new Senna 20S headset with the uh, GoPro attachment. So I've just come out to uh, Mount Glorious, my normal haunt, just to go for a bit of a black. Just stopping in at uh, Wivenhoe Dam, just to uh, have a little bit of a rest stop, making sure all my camera gear and all that shit is going okay. And yeah, we'll get back on the road shortly. Hey boys and girls, so just something a bit different today. As it turns out, my new um, Center 20S with the uh, GoPro backpack um, turns out to be pretty shit. Um, okay, so the deal with the, the Center backpack is that it uses the headset's microphone for its primary audio source. It also has the option to uh, mix the GoPro mic as well. So they advertise that, that um, that's a good way of getting ambient noise. So I wanted to do that so that you could obviously hear the bike and so on and so forth. Because with the mic off, all you're going to hear is me just flapping my gums talking shit. Um, the problem is that going over these videos now in post, um, you can't hear me at all. There's just way too much wind noise. So I'm like, oh, this is fucking shit. So I've done a bit of research now and um, found a couple of um, comments saying that Senna is working on a firmware update to correct the issue, um, but so far, no love, still on version 1.0. So I thought, well, rather than write off all the footage that I did today, I'll just do a bit of a commentary in post. So, what else have I been doing? Uh, the 20S, great bit of kit, don't get me wrong. Um, as far as the noise cancelling capabilities go for it, for normal like phone calls and intercom and all that kind of stuff, it's phenomenal how well it does. It actually has a external microphone built into the side of it um, so that it works the noise cancelling functions out that way. As a plus, it also has a feature where you can um, basically mute all audio that's coming into your headset and use that microphone to give you side tone. So if you want to have a conversation with someone that was standing right beside you and you got your helmet on, lid down, whatever, you push the bottom button and yeah, bang, you can hear them and it's pretty clear. Nice little feature they got there. Um, other little features that I really like about the center is uh, integration with uh, Siri for iPhone and all that. Uh, the voice commands are pretty good as far as uh, the center ones kind of thing. The Siri ones are obviously, they work as they normally do, but yeah, the center ones not too bad as far as like launching the FM radio, music, um, intercom, things like that. Works pretty good. Um, things that are a bit sketchy, I guess. Um, you're meant to be able to launch the voice control by tapping the unit. It must have some sort of accelerometer in it or something like that, and you just tap it twice. I thought mine was broken. But as it turns out, they've um, they recalibrated it or something like that, and you can't just go like bang bang. You've got to go bang bang, and you've got to do it mm, semi firmly as well. It's kind of stupid. You might as well just push the button on the bottom to launch the voice control. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, what else? I just bought the Senna um, remote control as well. Bit of an impulse buy that one. You just sort of clamp it to your handlebars and it gives you an opportunity so you can skip tracks and all that kind of stuff without having to take your hands off. Um, I don't know how the hell I'm going to fit it on my bike because there's not a hell of a lot of room with all the switch gear that's already on the S1000. But we shall see. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, riding the bike around today, I was in user mode the whole time. So I was speaking about it as I was riding. But what I've pretty much um, come to the conclusion of is that the bike is just way too restrictive, um, especially for the traction control in anything but slick mode. I'm just, it's just, I mean, it's still fun, but it's just, it won't wheelie or anything. So you like, you saw at the start of the video, you know, I'll pop it up for a little bit. That's just full power. That's, that was easy, you know, I didn't have to clutch it, nothing. But if you're in sport or race mode, it won't do that. It, the sport the sport mode will just pop and go, uh, no, and just fucking plant you right back down. Race will allow you to go up a little bit, but yeah, not much, not much at all. Slick, um, I haven't found the limit for um, how far it 
gets towards balance point. Yeah, it's still not that confident yet, popping the thing right up. And I've done a few clutch up wheelies, but the thing does it on power pretty easily as well. So, you know, you just you can be a bit of a peanut with it. Um, one good thing, I guess, in slick is um, if you wrap on the power out of the corner, and I'm like today I was cruising around plus seven on the traction control, it still allows quite a fair bit of drive out, but it will hold the wheel down a little bit, or well, I think it does anyway, because I was I was being pretty aggressive on the throttle, and I was kind of expecting it to pop up on me, but not really. Like it'd get light, but it wasn't just going sky high, so it definitely um, holds back the uh, amount of power delivery that you're getting. So yeah, that's all good. Um, what else? What else? What else? Hmm. Oh, yes. So, long ride next year. It's to uh, Margaret River in WA. So we're looking at about a 10,000k trip for that one. So, while I could do it on the S1000, I am pretty much committed now that I'm going to buy myself a touring bike. So, I've settled on a K1200 GT. Quite a nice bike, I guess. BMW still. Plenty of mods and cons, cruise control, uh, heated seats, uh, you know, powerful enough engine. I found one in Woi Woi, guy wanted nine grand for it, but um, it's gone now anyway. I was too slow to was too slow to act on it kind of thing. It was pretty cheap. Most of them were around the 11 to 12k mark. Um, I was over at a mate's place yesterday, and he mentioned um, ST1100 Hondas. Had a bit of a look at them. Sure, they look like a comfortable bike, but no bloody toys. So. There's no way in hell I'm going to buy a bike that has less toys on it than my super bike. But yeah, it is what it is. But uh, that's about it for the update, people. Um, I'll sort this audio shit out for the next one. Hopefully, um, I'll try it with obviously the mic off, so it's only using the headset audio. But I've got a feeling it's going to be um, too quiet as far as ambient noise goes. So if that's the case, well, I'm going to ditch this thing and just go back to my old $20 external microphone that I just shoved into the GoPro. Anyway, till next time people, take it easy.